people, welcome back to the Death Road. So... Today we have a special edition called I'm Playing This While Laying in Bed, or not the sitting. You get the point. So, um... Hasn't really been that long since I recorded the last one. So there's still a very, uh, lacking amount of things to talk about. But, uh, I've been reading, uh, comments that have been posted, and, uh, I have now realized that strength is actually very useful for, um, making sure you don't tire out. I'm just an idiot. <laughs> But hey, at least I know now about, what, 60 days on the death road. Hello. So, uh, I'm expecting this week to be very uneventful unless if I get an interesting rare location. But, eh, eh, it's not looking too optimistic right now. We, we'll definitely not get Toilet Genie this week, or well, set of 10 days. My goodness. So many zombos. And apparently there's just supposed to be more and more and that's not fun. Boop. Boop. Med. Yay. So, um, something I suppose I should talk about is, uh, repetitiveness in this series, because, of course, it's endless mode, it's meant to last an extremely long time, but the question is, when will it feel repetitive for me? And that, I honestly don't know. Because, uh, th there is so much content in this game that, uh, getting, uh, repeat stuff won't happen for easily over a hundred days. And even then, it's, uh, different every time. Take, for example, arcades. Things you get in there are not always the same. Haunted mansions. The loot that you get is not always the same, and, uh, you never know what ghost you're gonna find. Uh, graveyard. You have that 10% chance to find death instead of Count Dinkula. There's a lot of different things, and it makes this game replayable and even more so. You never know what you're gonna get here on the death road, so you just gotta check it all out. Ooh. <laughs> Plus, I'm, I'm, I'm going to see that uh, this series will definitely get shorter in video length as time goes on. I won't have to be sitting down for hour-long recording sessions, hopefully. It'll be... Eh, 
let's just say, I don't know, 10 minutes, maybe. Maybe that's optimistic. Maybe uh, I'll be extremely thorough with location still. Uh, who knows? <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Uh, what's something I can talk about? Oh, okay. Uh, liver update. Added Jojo, but in the best way possible. I'm interested in the new characters. I'm a bit scared to use them because I already... Meh. Okay. Actually, I'll take that strength training. Okay. <laughs> Silent Guardian. Ooh. Push him off the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I was going to win that. Uh, car repair right about now. Uh, no, we're getting bed and breakfast first. Uh, Heigl's at the five food. Hey. Captain Morale. Fix that car. That's unfortunate. Alright, we have a decent engine for now. Uh, I have no need to get ammo. I have more than enough medical supplies. Minigun, okay. Uh, maybe... Canada, you speak of. Oh yeah, that's right. I went and unlocked everything from the liver update, which explains why I only have 10 Zombo points. I need to get more Zombo points. Might be missing out on something. Ah, uh, gah, okay. I think I'm gonna... By the minigun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a fun one to use. I'm just glad we don't have to deal with fast zombies. Always be looting. Dark Mansion. I'll take a Dark Mansion. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Guess I'll take it the... Hedge maze, uh, did I just say, hedge maze approach of just hug left and then eventually you'll cover everything. Oh my goodness, <laughs> the whiz is so overpowered. <laughs> I wonder what our uh, unique weapon's going to be. If it's the golden knife, I honestly wouldn't mind that. Uh, if it's pukey balls, though, that's gonna suck. Uh. That's not the best. 
I definitely think Golden Knife is better. Alright. Alright. And now we run around like a fool looting the rest of this mansion. actually got hit <laughs> wait what the heck is happening why is Russ getting hit so much mate what's going on there <laughs> bit confused about that, but okay. Uh, you know what? Honestly, yeah. Maybe if I give him the Buster Sword, uh, the, sorry, the Guster Sword. Uh, he won't get hit as much. Because I think the Scythe's attack doesn't cover directly in front of you, which means you end up getting hit. Maybe that's what the problem was. That is one wing of the house done. Sorry, Zombo Point. Okay, no, that's not fine. I don't like that he's been hit three times now. We're, we're trying something else. Is he just extra prone to being hit for some reason? What is happening? Well, I, uh, at least I'm using medical supplies? I guess that's a plus. I, I actually get to use this stuff that I've been collecting. Just one more uh, bathroom loot, and I should be able to just heal off all injuries from this trip. Oh, okay, never mind. I can just do it now. He's getting hit so much, though. Oh, wow, look at all those glass bottles that I honestly could care less about. I could care less about them, but I mean, it's, it's glass bottles. There's a certain feeling that you get that just makes you go, wow. I don't get to see those very often. Oh, this is the kitchen and pantry, okay. Yeah. 
that's the kitchen and down here's the pantry that's not the pantry down here should be the pantry yup kind of odd to have a living area in between the kitchen and pantry Five, eight, nine, ten. And that should be the entire location. I'm going to give the scythe back. I don't know. That scared me. Deer crossing. Shoot it. Do the shut up along. Just go to sleep. Wash buckler. Hmm. No. Uh, <laughs> and then a Sasquatch. <laughs> the Wiz sees a Sasquatch on the side of the road minding its own damn business. Do I try to. <laughs> Uh, turn around and investigate Bigfoot ain't real or Bigfoot ain't real. <laughs> Bigfoot ain't real. Oh. I mean, I have to. All right. Ah! And this is why we have the chainsaw, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, Russ was the one to get hit. Is there just some nerf to Civilized that I haven't learned about yet? Get owned. I wonder how many zombos I'm going to have killed by the end of this. Uh, place your number in the bets below. Will it be between 200 and 300, between 300 and 400, between 400 and 500, or 500 plus? The answer may shock you. Wiz, come on, mate. Hmm. I could be practical about going in there, or I could do the impatient strat. And I'm really feeling the impatient strat right now. Like, I'm really feeling the impatient strategy right now.
The impatient strategy. <laughs> Just chainsaw them all. Okay, let's get out of here because I'm running out of gas. I did hit quite the number of them though. Music should have started by now. Hmm. I guess the game's kind of uh, considering that starting time to be too close tonight. I guess that's a, it's, it's 10 p.m. for the game, and it's it's not playing the nighttime music. I can't wait to figure out how many zombies I do actually kill. Zombos are not appreciative of what I'm doing, though. Honestly, this location would be ten times harder if I didn't have the Wiz on my team. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll hit the side room here first. At that pretty much all the zombos spawned in the main area, so there was nothing to really spawn in here. Welcome to enemy limits. And I guess I'll go in here first. Toilets to loot over yonder. These are the questions we must be asking ourselves, and it appears not. So we shall leave. Getting an untouched grocery store. Somewhat early on is pretty nice. Mm. So much food, honestly. Like, um... Yeah, I'd say with the amount the NPCs have picked up, uh... I've probably picked up enough to completely repeat what I re replace what I had paid for the minigun. Which is crazy to think about. 
And... Yep, I think I got it all. Alright. Now to escape back to the car. Oh no. Get us out of here. Let's see. What was the number of zombies killed? I think I maxed out the count on that one. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, cool, I maxed out the count. <laughs> uh, had a siege on day 60, I'm going to have one. No, I'm just gonna go to sleep. I have enough food to spare. I don't want to risk that. Uh... a cigar. Find a new route. Ah, no. Okay, okay, okay. Cat attack. Cool. <laughs> oh no. Uh okay, I'm taking the minigun. Oh, this is so bad. Alright. Was it smart of me to uh Go for untouched grocery store? Probably not. Was it worth it? Yeah. <laughs> I'd do it again if I could. No, I wouldn't. I don't want to risk the bear. Like, you, you can... You can... Give me every single freaking no car event in the game as long as I don't get the bear. <laughs> oh, that's that's good. That feels good. I just wanted to use it. This is terrible. We're, we're getting to the point of the game where it's just going to start saying nearly solid. For every single event, which is painful to think about. Can you do something? Wow, okay. This is actually an extremely short and length uh, location to get through. I saw that shotgun get brought out. Oh, 
What? Wait. Swapped out the nightstick for the... I don't understand this AI. Oh, I don't understand this AI. Oh, Death Swarm, that's cool. Sporting good store. Super sporting. See a regular old shotgun in there. I mean, it's worth one food, so... I might want to grab it. But even then, that's... Only a mite. I don't really feel like it'd be too worth it. <laughs> but these bathrooms, though. Oh, these bathrooms. Did. Okay, I thought this nerd decided to pick up something else. Leave that shotgun on the ground. Please do not pick it up. Okay, good. And here I thought the AI would actually be dumb. <laughs> I just stunned that zombie by opening the fridge. Maybe. Um. Ooh, okay, let's talk about uh, these different locations that appear specifically like this, uh, like, umbrella shop versus uh, sporting goods store. Um, the furniture store is generally seen as the worst out of all of these uh, typical locations with uh, one small thing you can enter. Uh, because there's no special loot, it just has a bunch of furniture that takes a lot to, uh, break. And, uh, I feel like it's pretty obvious why it's seen as bad. But, honestly, it does have a use, and that's, uh, if you're in a somewhat rough spot with your run uh, you can use the furniture inside and you can clear out hordes of zombies with a single piece of furniture and then it just breaks and then you get the next one and rinse and repeat and you should be able to clear out 400 zombies with all the furniture in that store probably I don't know maybe that's a bit too much you can definitely clear out uh, at least a hundred or two hundred I think though uh, ruined building. Dang it. I'm not good at reading this. Okay. I try to give, um... Uh... I'm not entirely sure who I want to have, um... Uh, all the dexterity buffs. The Wiz or uh, Ress, because Ress is the civilized character and is generally the the one that's been carrying a lot, but also the Wiz I, I'm going to need to get to Canada. So I, I think I'm going to prioritize all the good buffing on Wiz. Which kind of sucks for me to say that, but it's, it's the truth. 250. Wow, that was a nice number. Bandit watch. <sighs> um, sorry, Russ. I think I'm getting a siege right now on this day. Death Road Radio. Uh, 
Oh, I need to siphon that generator and get the gas. Trading. Uh, that's a recruit I don't want to bother with. Is there anything in the trunk I want to sell? Uh, yeah, that. I'm somewhat curious, but no. Sell the cowboy rifle. Wow, the cold steel greatsword actually sells for nothing. This person doesn't appreciate true weapon oh okay I thought for a second it was actually you old fair and then I'd just be able to buy armor and dump it on Dominic and then that'd just be that max health character right then and there okay what you have flamethrower that's not really that good at all honestly uh, all honesty uh, auto shot you already have uh, thanks, Ress. You're the best. Uh, quite shotgun. Nah. And honestly, yeah. Rifle ammo is actually really useful. And what does the good old gnome have? Thirty gas. <laughs> and now I think I get a siege or running through factory. Why do I open my mouth? I need to stop thinking because I'm. I predicted the sewer, and now I predicted this. Gah! That's really annoying. I hate this one. Okay. It's not as bad as uh, Sewer. Because you don't have Zombo spawning all around you. I still hate this. Factories are one of the worst locations to be running through. Because they're just long, boring, have no loot. Oh my goodness, Ress, you're getting mauled out here. Just hate these locations. Because they're not difficult, it's just... It takes a long time to get through. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Oh, it appears that you have a lapse in judgment. And now I will pay with my blood. Look at how absolutely effective I am at carving through zombos like a hot knife to butter. Uh, uh, this is the escape, totally. I just want to get out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Climb 
Ow. I don't want to be in here. <sighs> Dominic gets... Bruh. Not even injured. Strength. Shooting. We're on random skill again. Let's see what we get. Dominic is increased fitness. Yeah. <sighs> Passing. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes it's worth it just to pay off bandits. Yeah, but then we get a morale penalty, and that's not good. Prepper cabin. Cabin rescue. No. Quiet farm. I'm going to see what else we can get. Museum. Sure. Mall. Katana. Oh, no. This one kind of... Sucks for what we have. Can't worry, Saber. Yeah, this museum kind of is bad. I think we get a good sword. Maybe. That or I, it's like 50 otaku katanas. I forget which it is. I just, I feel like this one isn't as worth it as, uh, I don't know, food. I know, wow, look at me talking about how useful food. Is that it? That's a visual glitch. We're going to pretend that doesn't exist. It's like that on both sides. Okay, that's that's weird. Huh. Wiz, come on, mate. Oh, staff break room. Well, look at that. The Wiz did something, and now... Doing just fine. Hey Wiz, can you do things? Thanks, mate. The wizard's honestly s disgusting to just play with. This the room? Wow, look at that. It's just a room full of Otaku Katanas, like I said. Wow, look at that. Look at how worth it was to go to this location. Ooh, wait. Strong Katana. This is why we have an empty inventory slot. Well, I can still say the attack katana still suck. Strong katana probably isn't good either. <laughs> it's probably just a slightly stronger, uh, unbreakable version of the attack katana, if I were to take a guess. Yep, uh, rare location, a waste of my time.
Bandit raid defense. Uh, build up defense. <laughs> oh no. I'll handle it. Takes a cowboy rifle from the settlers and hides in a tall place. When the bandits show up, she makes multiple amazing shots to blow out their tires. The bandits become too freaked out to continue the attack. The fight is over before it starts. The settlers are glad to give the reward. <laughs> okay. It's pretty good. Traitor trap offers to heal injury. A boom. Can shooting practice. Loyalty test. Oh, all of them have good loyalty. Specifically checking, Dominic. Oh no. I don't wanna get the three dogs. Um fix car. Right about no? Boom. Boom. Lonely Garage. Master Tuners. Now what? Super Tune Up. Uh, Explorer. What do we got? Oh, here we go. Fishing Cabins. Dominic is gonna have to be the one to fish up, I think. I don't know, there's just like, there's nothing good to get rid of here. Well, actually. Snow shovel's crap. Just double barrel shotgun and nightstick in here. Well, can't really sell either of those because they don't have the inventory space. Final room. Hey Wiz, can you magic it up? I think the Wiz magicked it up. Oh! Wish for food, power, or fancy weapon. I'm not gonna lie, I forget what the fancy weapon is. Fishing cabins, death road to Canada. Let's see, I know food is something ridiculous like 25 food. Uh, yep, I was right. Wish for power, plus one to strength, fitness, shooting, and vitality. And that's for Spole Swan. And then fancy weapon, dope 45. Assault Rifle, Uzi, Auto Shoddy, Hunting Rifle, Slug Shotgun, Night Sword, uh, Sturdy Machete, Minigunner, Flamethrower. Uh... Do I get the plus one vitality on my character with the 25 food? I'm gonna wish for power and get the vitality. Honestly, that's more worth it. Yeah, I, th I think it's more worth. Maybe you should turn back. Maybe you should shut up. 
I don't know, we're not even a tenth of the way through the journey. Oh my goodness. Rest, mate. You're just getting annihilated. Trader camp. What do you got, gnome? Nothing good. Um, weapon salesperson. I can see how much the uh, sturdy katana sells for. And I guess the cavalry saber. And I gotta see what these fetch. Strong katana sells for 15? Okay. Hold on to that then. Um, I don't have a reason to have you hold the assault rifle. You can hold the Uzi instead, I guess. I don't know why you never get the bullets. Uh, I have enough pipe bombs. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm almost out of gas. Give me a location with gas. It's so risky. <sighs> yeah. Warmed Arcade or Sewer Rescue. Sewer Rescue could give gas as a reward. I think, though. Oh. I think you can siphon these for gas. And if I'm right, then... Boom, I'm... I actually remember something about this game correctly. Staying out of there, that way the zombies don't break the machine. Hold on. Okay, it just had to get their attention. Honestly, let's just go back to that room in a bit. Just having a casual stroll about here. please. Hey, look at that. The machine I wanted to have survived, survived. Okay, Russ, I'm relying on you to be able to do this. Boom. <laughs> I am I, I remembered this correctly. I don't really need the shooting buff. A lot of these characters are just maxed out in shooting, so it's not even worth it. Uh might be another. Oh, okay. Price capsule machine. need to get their attention. 
I that was very dumb of me to swing at that with the flashlight. I could have broken it. All right, let's go see our guests. I'm hoping they didn't break the prize capsule machine because that'd be really bad. Are you kidding me? You specifically go down so they don't go claw at the machine and they do it even faster. Where do I even try? The Battle of Garbage Mountain. Smash. Dominic. Health and morale for food. Driving range, last stand. Hotwire, the golf ball collector. <laughs> See, 68 days on death road. We're getting close to the funny one. Fancy factory. Secure junkyard. Explore, what do we get? Gas station siege, fine. Okay. Oh god. This is gonna suck. Specifically say this is going to suck. Hold on. Ah, <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Alright, well. Thanks to whoever hit that. Is this bathroom? Okay. I need to break this. I need to break this. Okay. You know what? They'll handle this while I hold the door. <laughs> Get bent, nerds. See, that's how you actually handle the gas station siege. You, you hold the door so they can't break it down, and um, all the zombies on the outside despawn, and then all the zombies that fall into the room your uh, teammates can handle. And then, in the end, we get a nice, nice amount of gas. Ah, oh, that's delicious. Hit the road. And then heal everyone up. Oh, okay. Not heal everyone. Strange vending machine. <sighs> Brand new car. Bag of chips. Rite of passage. <laughs> Morale for food. <laughs> uh, just sleep. We're on the funny day. We're on the funny day. We have survived for 69 days. Mahuth. Swole Swan. Force it out. Yeah. <laughs> Is it the trader camp? <gasps> Ooh, okay, everything's on fire. This will be a fun one. Wait, 24 bullets? That's a scam. Whoa, okay. 
take that 40 uh, knee palm launcher. I I have a flamethrower already. Let's just enjoy flaming cars and in the background, a mild screen shaking of a shotgun. Something tells me the traitor died. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Suburb Siege. Let's go. Oh, no. Alright. I know how to handle this. Go into this room. I'll hold the front door. You guys take care of the giant surrounding horde. Like, look. I've- I've basically eliminated most of the zombies from getting in. So, I mean... This is... I, boom, look at that. I think I've been fairly successful with this. Wow, look at that. Siege is over. All the zombos are gone. Let's go loot. <laughs> Most of the zombos are gone. A lot of the zombos are still here. An immense amount of the zombos are still here. I don't see any other loot, so I'm just gonna go... Hit the road. Well, I, none of this is useful, so just, yeah, the Wiz gets mechanical, Dominic gets mechanical. Good. Okay. Okay. Russ, you're running out of uses because now the Wiz is as good as a mechanic as you are. Alright. We have survived for 70 days on the death road, which unfortunately means it is time to end this video. Um. Uh. The, 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 if I get another possible recruit for the Wiz, um, I'm, I'm debating. No, I have to axe Dominic first, because Swole Swan has Phoenix still. And Phoenix is the very last resort thing. And then Russ has uh, Explorer. Which, I mean, once I get a book to give one of these characters Explorer, Russ will actually be useless. So, until I get the uh, Explorer book... Uh, Russ will be on the team, but after I get the Explorer book and, like, slap it on Spool Swan and the Wiz, um, yeah, sorry, Russ, you're, you're gonna have to go at some point, maybe, I'm not sure. But with that, uh, thank you for tuning in to another 10 days on the Death Road. And I will see you next time, I guess. Yeah, that sounds right. Goodbye.